Pisces. Welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and I'm here to do a beautiful reading for you. So this is the last one of the year, Pisces. Could you believe it? We are on the 31st of December. That's it. That's all to 2022. We begin a brand new year, but to me it's just a brand new day, a brand new way of, of um, going further in your journey, of thinking of it as um, I don't know, uh, um, a new opportunity that opens up to you. So in the last reading, we're looking at the hangwoman, hangman, whichever, and how procrastinating, how staying stuck in different energies is something that we have to work on the flow of things, okay? And that's Spirit's last message of the year. If you keep working on the flow of things, things will eventually move forward. You have one up because you know when you get stuck. You know what's happening as you're doing it. You may get stuck and go, why am I stuck? But you are questioning and then moving forward in that energy and knowing what's happening and what stage is is um, tripping you up. Okay? So you have for today's reading the Five of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. So it's getting from the, the unbalanced to the balance. The Five of Pentacles is about uh, feeling isolation and um, unstable uh, energy. So that's exactly what you want to do. You want to get stable again. Okay? And I think the biggest thing that they are saying for the year coming up, for this week, as a wrap-up, is that if you keep working on it, you'll always know that when this feeling comes in, it's for up for you to do some work to make it feel better, okay? So here we go, Pisces. And this is the last day for the red, so if you see it going out of focus, well, it's the last day. I'm going to change this to a color that's that is better for the camera. I just didn't want to get rid of the red. Red's so pretty. All right. A higher power. Look at that. And number four. Okay, look at the beautiful colors that are showing up here for you, Pi uh, Pisces. They're reminding you that you are always tapping into a higher power. Okay? When you can't figure out what's going on, what do you do? You tap into that power. You let yourself open up and figure it out. When all else fails, tap into guides, tap into spirit, and figure it out. Okay? Alright. Karmic completion. Beautiful. There you go. You're at the end of a cycle. It could also be the the uh, Wheel of Fortune, which is also a cycle, a shift, a shift a change, a movement, um, and its destiny expansion. Um, this is knowing that things are just going to keep moving forward for you Pisces, okay? I like this. They're like saying there's a higher power, it's karmic completion, you're at the end of something, you're moving into something new. No worries, everything is good. Brand new year, brand new way of doing things, you're gonna get out of this, no no problem, okay? And you're never alone. Trust that there's always a higher power helping you here. There's always a stability. It's almost like they're saying there's almost there's a plus one when you're not um when you're not thinking about it. There's always something else here. There's something um, working out. There's a harmony. There's something bigger and deeper working to harmonize you in your life. Queen of Swords. Two of Swords. Oops. 
Knight of Pentacles, and you had the Six of Cups here that didn't come out, but flipped. And a Three of Pentacles, which also showed up this morning. So, um, it's about spirit. It's about spirit being there to help you through all of this. They're helping you see the bigger picture of things. To help you with these small delays, because for me I feel that they're small delays, but it's enough to make the journey feel a little bit slowed up sometimes. They are saying that to tap into a higher power is definitely the way for you to move forward. To trust your spiritual team to help you lay the groundwork and put the bricks, okay? Your spirit, your spirit power has all the tools to help you. They're handing it off to you to build the life that you want for yourself. So if you ever catch yourself in this um, limbo type of situation, they're helping you seeing higher above. Okay, higher power, high above. Okay, even the birds are high on this hat. It's all about sitting on top of a horse being higher. It's all about the higher power here. That's what they're talking about, okay? So you're never without help. You're always going to have help available for you Pisces. Five of Swords didn't come out. The Five of Pentacles, we had that in readings yesterday. Three of Wands launching. Page of Wands watching. The Eight of Swords, but it didn't come out. I feel like the cage is opening, though. Just by you paying attention to these things, you're freeing yourself from these chains, these blocks, these walls, the Emperor, Stability. All cards that we've gotten this week. Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Wands. Is this like the year in review? Ace of Wands, King of Swords, The World, End of a Cycle, Nine of Swords. I feel that they're showing all these cards that are flipping. They might mean something for every single one of you. It's the stuff that you've been through this year. It's all the stuff that you've been through. The Seven of Swords, the Seven of Wands, the breaking free of the negativity. These are like all private messages. And the Queen of Pentacles. We had the Queen of Pentacles this morning and there she is again. So at your heart center. Again, with the Queen of Pentacles showing up. Okay? You have the ability to see things, to look at a brand new way of how to bring it forward, okay? Again, you're seeing, you're expanding the view. With Jupiter in expansion, you are expanding the view. You are looking above, and you're seeing a lot of the riches that are coming in. The abundance is there for you. You've just got to keep reaching above the clouds, above above your... Um, Above your lim limitations is what I feel. You're at the edge of your karmic completion here. It says it's right here, okay? You're done with that. You're done with that. Now's a new phase, a new way. A higher above, a seeing past all of that. I feel you're ready. I feel you're ready to look in the looking glass and see what's there. You're ready for the new. You're ready to see everything. Alright. So we have, let me see here. Okay. Okay. 
So the Three of Cups came in reverse. It is basically just to get things in motion and to see past all the illusions. Okay? That is number one in your list of things to do. You have to see where the imbalances are. Absolutely. So that you're able to keep that, because we had this earlier this week. Okay? It was about um, the disconnections. This was about the disconnections between the cards as well, but it was also about balancing. To balance a hula hoop, you need a certain motion. You need a flow to be happening for you to keep it. So the illusion is, is that maybe you don't have the flow, or you don't have everything that you need, but you do. Okay, that's the illusion with the moon card coming in. Don't feed yourself illusions. What you should be doing is realizing that you have the strength to go through anything. To get everything in motion and going. Okay? You can look in that looking glass and get the expansion that you absolutely need. When you do, you will see the progress and you will get past the delays. Life is about different things to see. You're always going to be looking at things to change, to overcome. It's all a great big lesson. But it's how you engage in those lessons. Sometimes you look at things and you let them block you infinitely, forever. And sometimes you look at those blocks and you search for answers, but you're searching in a wrong place. And you're not seeing what you're supposed to. But sometimes you look in earnest and just let the answers come in. Sometimes the answers are already coming in. And this is what they're saying here. The answers are already coming in. You're already getting help from higher above. Because this is like a, a karmic thing. And you're getting help. You get help to get past these hurdles. It's not like you are left alone. Even though it feels like it, you're not left alone. You're being begged by higher powers to bring in the balance. To fix whatever needs to be done. Look above. Go above and beyond. Sit above. Get the help. Okay? You have all you need. You are abundant. If you do not go into the illusions of it, Pisces, and you see the strength within yourself, your path will take you very, very far in the upcoming years. This is you. You're ready to launch. You're ready to go. You just got to figure out the flow of things. Yeah. I love this. This is telling me that you are an explorer. That you're ready to look at things dead on. And make them bigger. You, f I feel like you're saying bring it on. Okay? I'm ready to delve in deeper and figure it out and let the magic happen, to let the endings finish, to let the karmic stuff go so that I can jump into something better, something new, okay, in the upcoming year. I feel you are ready. You are still in some, in some of this, I feel that you still feel like you're a mess. But you know, you're a very in-tuned mess. And I like that. I think that an in-tuned mess is some of the most fantastic people in this world. Because they're constantly looking for answers and open to seeing new and wonderful things. They're open to karmic completions. They're open to rebalancing. And I think that you're all of those things, Pisces. The cards have shown me all the different things through the year that you've been going through, maybe even years. You're wonderful, you're fantastic, and you're going to go far. Because you are here. You are saying, I'm ready. I'm ready for whatever life brings me. Okay? So... I want you to write in the comments, I'm looking to expand. Because you are. You are definitely doing that. 
All right, my beautiful ones, that's it for the day and for the year. Uh, happy New Year's Eve, and I know I'm not going to see you at New Year's, but Happy New Year's if you're watching this uh, on New Year's Day. Of course, there will be more videos. Uh, New Year's Day is Sunday, and what are we doing this Sunday? What are we looking at this Sunday, the 1st of January? We're going to be looking at the full moon in Cancer and also the weekly, as I always do. I'm sending you love, light, and blessings. Take good care of yourself. Have a great rest of the day. Bye for now.